Hi, right, this is Ian today with a video to introduce the new Amazon Publisher Studio Firefox extension. Back in July 2014, Amazon introduced the Publisher Studio tool to make it easier for associates to link text and images uh, to Amazon products on their blogs and websites. Now they have introduced the Firefox and Google Chrome extension that allows associates to link products on their blogs and websites as well as social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, Google+, YouTube and others. Um, the Amazon Publisher Studio is available uh, to Amazon Associates and if you do not know what the Amazon Associate program is about you can check my video review on it. Basically you can make money online if you have a blog or website through affiliate marketing. So first off um, log into your Amazon Associate account and then go to the Publisher Studio tab. You will then see this um, install button uh, to install the extension. Um, currently I'm using Firefox so it shows a Firefox extension but if you're in Google Chrome it will show you the Google Chrome extension and um, it is only available right now for Firefox and Google Chrome. So if you click this button to install uh, the extension um, it will basically um, give you this little prompt asking you to give um, a request permission to install the extension. You basically just click allow and then at this dialog box uh, just click the install button so once you've installed, you'll get a little confirmation right here. And um, you will see this little um, Publisher Studio icon. Uh, and if you click on it, it'll basically allow you to sign in. And um, you basically need to sign in to start using it. And once you sign in, it'll show you that it's enabled. If you click on this um, settings link, uh, you will see that uh, it is available on various platforms like blogs and websites as well as social media sites. Uh, at the time of recording this video it is still in beta and uh, it only works on Facebook and Twitter um, so these ones will probably be activated uh, you know once the beta is done. So let me show you how it works on Twitter. So this is my Twitter account and if I tweet um, the way you do it on Twitter is you basically use the two um, dollar signs to basically tag. So uh, let's just say I want to tweet about my the you know the, the new laptop a cooling fan that I purchased from Amazon. I basically type in uh, dollar sign dollar sign laptop cooling fans, um, just like this dollar dollar laptop cooling fans. And as soon as I do that, um, it'll display um, you know several products, so Amazon products, to match those tag uh, the tag word of the phrase that I typed in. Um, and then basically I just choose the, the product and it'll give me um, a link, Amazon product link. And then you can basically enter the rest of your tweet. And then basically just tweet. So it works the same way um, in um, Facebook. As you can see I've typed in dollar dollar laptop cooling fans and you basically just choose the product. So as I mentioned to you, you know, currently it just works on Facebook and Twitter. Um, as indicated earlier, it also works on blogs and websites, but not on a live blog. Uh, for a live blog or website, you basically need to, uh, you know, create an instance um, in um, in Amazon Associate account and then copy the uh, JavaScript snippet to your blog or website. And if you'd like to learn to do that, uh, you know, you can check my uh, video tutorial on how to install the Publisher t uh, Studio tool. Uh, that's um, Publisher Studio tool is, is different from the extension. So this is how it works on, on a blog. So in the back end, uh, obviously in edit mode, so currently this is my, one of my blogger, um, you know, uh, blogs, and I'm in edit mode. And let's just say I want to uh, hyperlink this, these two words, fraud prevention, and you know, link it to a relevant Amazon product. I basically just highlight um, those two words, and as, as as soon as I highlight those two words, I'll get this create link. Let me just zoom in here. As you can see, you get this create link, and essentially what you do is um, you just click on this um, create link button, and it will again display um, you know several matching products, and then you basically just uh, click on. Uh, you know the product that um, you want to link it to and then just click this add link um, button. And as you can see um, it is now hyperlinked it and it'll give you a little um, confirmation that uh, you know the text link has been created successfully. 
Similarly, uh, if I want to you know, tag this image uh, to a relevant Amazon product, I basically just click the image and then you will see this um, edit uh, delete um, buttons and you basically just click the edit button and you will see the search box and then you just enter a search from in this, uh, in this case I just en entered uh, tax scams and it'll display again relevant products so let's just say you know I want to link this product here I just click on it and you'll see this tag image um, button or link you basically just click that and um, it will give you a confirmation that it's been created successfully um, similarly if I want to remove this uh, hyperlink um, you basically just uh, highlight it and then click the delete button and then it's gone and uh, you would do the same thing for the image you just click on the image it'll, and click the delete button to remove the link so that's pretty much it uh, before I wrap up I'd like to mention a couple of important things um, you know you should use Publisher Studio uh, responsibly as in make sure that you you still obviously um, are within the confines of the Amazon uh, associate program uh, operating agreement or terms of service you know no spamming and all that stuff and uh, you know do not uh, add special links to an image um, for example of a celebrity that violates um, that person's rights uh, you know such as uh, by implying an endorsement or other social, uh, association with the celebrity so that's pretty much what Publisher Studio is and how you can use it on blogs, websites, and uh, social media. I think it's a very useful tool, but I don't think I'll be using it so much on social media sites. Um, I'll probably be using it more on blogs, um, on my blogs. So anyway, you know, hope you found this um, video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And as I mentioned earlier, to learn more about the Amazon Associate Program, you can check my video review on it. Thanks for stopping by.